When NASA announced the Artemis program, its goal was clear send astronauts back to the moon by 2024 and pave the way for long-term lunar exploration. However, this time, the mission is different. Instead of solely relying on NASA's in-house resources and technologies, the agency is partnering with private companies to get the job done. SpaceX, one of the leading pioneers in commercial spaceflight, is at the heart of this mission. But how did SpaceX, a company that initially focused on rocket launches, become such a central player in the Artemis program? What is their role in the moon landings, and why is this partnership so important for the future of space exploration? In this video, we'll answer all of those questions and explore how SpaceX's groundbreaking technologies are taking us back to the moon and ultimately preparing us for the next giant leap Mars. SpaceX's role in NASA's Artemis mission. To understand SpaceX's role in the Artemis program, we need to first look at NASA's Artemis goals. The Artemis program isn't just about sending astronauts to the moon, it's about laying the groundwork for a sustainable human presence on the lunar surface, enabling the exploration of Mars and expanding our understanding of space. One of the key elements of Artemis is the Lunar Gateway, a space station that will orbit the moon, serving as a staging point for lunar missions and as a hub for future deep space exploration. But to get to the moon and back, NASA needs a reliable, powerful spacecraft. That's where SpaceX comes in. SpaceX was selected by NASA to develop the human landing system HLS for the Artemis missions, which will be responsible for transporting astronauts from the lunar gateway to the lunar surface and back. And the spacecraft chosen for this monumental task? SpaceX's very own Starship, why Starship? You might be wondering, why did NASA choose SpaceX's Starship for such a crucial part of the Artemis program? Well, there are a few reasons. First, Starship is designed to be one of the most powerful rockets ever created. Its ability to carry massive payloads into space coupled with its fully reusable design makes it the perfect candidate for lunar missions. Unlike traditional spacecraft, Starship has the capability to carry large amounts of cargo and multiple crew members to the moon, making it ideal for long-term missions. SpaceX's focus on reusability has revolutionized spaceflight, and it's a key factor in why NASA is so invested in Starship. The ability to reuse rockets and spacecraft dramatically reduces the cost of space travel, which is a game-changer for long-duration lunar missions. Not only does this make the Artemis program more cost-effective, but it also paves the way for more frequent and sustainable missions to the moon and beyond. SpaceX is known for pushing the boundaries of technology, and Starship is no exception. With its stainless steel construction, massive size, and potential for interplanetary travel, Starship represents the future of space travel. NASA recognized that SpaceX's innovative approach to engineering was exactly what they needed to make the Artemis program a success. But perhaps the most crucial aspect of Starship for NASA's Artemis program is its ability to land on the moon. Traditional lunar landers were small, clunky, and limited in terms of capacity. Starship, on the other hand, is designed to land on the moon with a full crew, stay there for extended periods, and return to the lunar gateway. The Starship's unique design and powerful engines allow it to land on the lunar surface without needing additional propulsion from other vehicles. How Starship will get astronauts to the moon? The Artemis missions involve a multi-step journey to the moon, and SpaceX's Starship will play a crucial role at the most critical part of the mission getting astronauts from the lunar gateway to the lunar surface and back. The mission begins when astronauts launch aboard NASA's Space Launch System SLS rocket. Once in orbit, they'll dock with the Lunar Gateway, a station orbiting the moon where they'll wait for their ride to the lunar surface. When it's time to land, astronauts will board the Starship Human Landing System, HLS, on the Lunar Gateway. Starship will then begin its descent to the moon's surface, utilizing its powerful engines and advanced navigation systems to perform a soft landing on the moon's surface. Once on the lunar surface, astronauts will carry out various scientific experiments, collect samples, and set up infrastructure for long-term habitation. The Starship HLS will also serve as a base for extended stays, offering the crew a safe and reliable platform for exploration. After completing their surface activities, the astronauts will return to Starship, which will then ascend back to the Lunar Gateway. The spacecraft's powerful engines will allow for a precise and controlled ascent, even in the moon's low gravity. One of the key innovations in this plan is SpaceX's ability to refuel Starship in orbit. In the future, SpaceX plans to develop orbital refueling stations that will allow Starship to perform multiple missions without needing to return to Earth for a refill. This technology could be crucial not just for lunar exploration but for deep space missions to Mars and beyond. Challenges and innovations Building Starship to meet the demands of the Artemis program is no small feat. The spacecraft will need to endure the extreme conditions of space travel, including the intense heat and pressure of re-entry and landing on the Moon. 
But SpaceX is no stranger to overcoming big challenges. One of the biggest challenges Starship faces is its landing system. Landing on the moon's surface requires precision and control, and Starship's ability to land safely on a terrain that isn't as forgiving as Earth's is something that engineers have worked hard to perfect. Another major hurdle is creating a spacecraft that can support long-duration missions. Unlike previous lunar missions, Artemis aims to establish a sustainable presence on the moon, and Starship will need to support astronauts for extended periods, possibly even for months at a time. This means Starship will need to have life support systems, power generation, and the ability to store supplies and scientific equipment. To address these challenges, SpaceX has been rapidly prototyping and testing Starship at its facilities in Texas. From high-altitude test flights to ambitious plans for Mars missions, Starship has undergone rigorous testing to prove it can handle the tough demands of lunar landings and deep space travel. SpaceX and NASA's partnership a new era for space exploration. SpaceX's role in the Artemis missions is part of a broader trend in space exploration, the growing collaboration between public agencies like NASA and private companies. NASA's decision to partner with SpaceX isn't just about getting to the moon, it's about creating an ecosystem for space exploration that involves both government and private entities working together. This partnership signifies a new era where private companies like SpaceX, Blue Origin, and others contribute to the advancement of space technology, reduce costs, and increase access to space. With SpaceX leading the charge, NASA's Artemis program has the potential to not only return humans to the moon but to create the infrastructure for a sustainable, multi-planetary future. The big picture what's next for SpaceX and Artemis. As we look ahead to the Artemis missions, SpaceX's involvement in lunar exploration is just the beginning. Starship's successful involvement in the Artemis program could lead to even more ambitious missions to Mars and beyond. NASA and SpaceX are laying the foundation for the future of space travel, where landing on the moon will be just a stepping stone toward humanity's dream of becoming a multi-planetary species. With plans to send astronauts to the moon by 2025 and the long-term goal of establishing a permanent lunar base, the collaboration between NASA and SpaceX is critical for pushing the boundaries of human exploration and scientific discovery. SpaceX's role in NASA's Artemis moon missions is nothing short of revolutionary. By developing the Starship spacecraft, SpaceX is not just helping to return humans to the moon, they're building the technology that will enable future space exploration for generations to come. From lunar landings to Mars missions, the collaboration between NASA and SpaceX is ushering in a new era of space exploration one, where the boundaries of what's possible are constantly being pushed. So what do you think? Will SpaceX and NASA's partnership redefine space exploration as we know it? Let us know in the comments below. And as always, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of our future deep dives into space exploration. Until next time, thanks for watching.